Hello everybody, welcome back to my Learn Scratch channel and today I'm going to show you another animation it's like a size changer or something. Like really. Um, so anyways, um, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get started. So um, if you, um, well, what is this exactly is, is you need to click a button that says change size by 10. Then if you click on it, then it will change size. There's also a button called change size by five. You can change that. And then there's negative numbers. So um, anyways, I'm gonna, that's what I'm going to show you how to make today in this episode. So let's go and get started. Anyways, after all of that, that whole intro, we are going to be creating that project. So I already opened it to the project page. It's untitled 33, but we will change the title after we make our project. So now let's X out the cat. You can use the cat if you want, but you can rather pick a different sprite or something. I will um, choose this. Maybe you can make it do animation while you press the buttons and it changes size. But, or you could take something smaller like this. You can go to Apple and maybe you can change the size of the apple or a banana or a balloon or a beetle or whatever you would like. And we will be using buttons to operate them. So now I'm going to choose bananas, for example, and this button is going to be here. We're going to be duplicating the buttons so we can have enough button buttons buttons for the um thing project to animate the banana. Okay, anyways, now we have the bananas code. And now what we're going to do is we are going to drag out a one green flag clicked. We are going to set the size to 100 so it won't be at a different size when it starts like it'll be touching the button. That's not what we want. We want it to set the size to 100. So what if I change the size by 100 and now it's 200? And what if I change it to 5,000? It's going to be so big. Look at that button. It's not even seen. So go back and say, set size to 100 and boom it's back okay anyways um now we are going to um animate it so now we have to make our buttons so um what are we going to use we are going to be using these buttons not these buttons name this button okay um, here we go now let's type in the Now let's type in the thing. So um, first I'm gonna do this and uh, there we go. Now we're going to be setting the color of our typing speed and type change, change, size, go down, change size by 10. There we go. Um, now we are going to make this smaller. Okay, now we are going to duplicate this and duplicate this and duplicate this after we make this. Okay, chain side by five. Okay, um, duplicate that. And that will be here. Okay, this one is negative 10. This one is negative five, so we will put a negative. Okay, now we have change size by five, um, change size by 10, change size by, change size by 10, change size by five, change size by negative 10, and change size 
by negative five. Okay, anyways, we need to put these um, buttons in order. So here, this one's here, this one's here, and uh, this one, no, this one's here. First, it comes before negative five, and this one comes after that. So um, now we have our buttons in order, and we can put the banana a little bit down. Okay, um, so what will happen is if we press these buttons, then some code will happen. So that's what we're going to exactly do with this thing. So yeah. Anyways, let's go ahead and get to the buttons. Okay, we're starting off with um, change size by 10. And now what we're going to do is we are going to go to one green flag clicked. So remember that um, video I made about how to do a broadcast message in Scratch? Like if you don't recognize that if you don't know that the link to that video is in the comments right and um, please check the description down below um it's in, actually not in the comments it's in the description of this video okay um so anyways um let's go ahead and get started don't forget to save your project so it will not do something if you do something um again if you refresh the page and thing will happen so um yeah now when green flag clicked, then we are going to do a broadcast message. Oh, also one green flag clicked forever loop. If, if, if then, remember, um, I'll teach you about the if then block. So um, anyways, now we, we are going to be um, making more code so if then what will happen is we are going to be um doing something so exactly what are we going to do we are going to do if touching mouse pointer so if it's touching the mouse pointer then something is going to happen so we wanted to change the ghost effect to like the light effect and also um we are going to do the broadcast message so um when this right clicked, it is broadcast message. Okay, anyways, now when, if then, if touching mouse pointer, put that there, then it will change that effect. But now we're supposed to make it if then or uh, else like this. And now what we're gonna do is we are going to set the ghost effect. So we're dragging out two, or you can duplicate. I'm um, doing duplicate. It's easier. And now we're gonna do set ghost effect to twenty five. I think is it good? Ooh, color. Oops. Okay. Um. Now let's go back to brightness or ghost. Okay. Um. Ghost. Let's do twenty five. Let's try that. Oh, set ghost effect. The uh, color effect is here. Ooh, this is kind of good, but yeah. Okay, um, put that there and broadcast message. If this sprite clicked, then it will broadcast message. So let's put this in our backpack so we don't have to do the code all over again. That's what I showed you. Um, remember that video when I showed you how to use the backpack from scratch? That link, that video link is also in the comments. I'll try to search for those two videos, which I made a little long time ago, like last month or something. Um, last month I didn't make any videos, I think, but um, still, I'm pretty sure I made one. Okay, let's go ahead and um, do the admission. So for this second one, we are going to do exactly the same thing. Um, I'm going to do it all over again with this um, script code. And yeah. Now we are going to do the, when this right clicked, broadcast message to message to. There we go. And now what we're going to do is we are going to be going to the next one, which is change size by 10. I mean, change size by 10, net change size by negative 10. And put that same thing, this by clipped, broadcast message. And that is message three. 
Okay, now we're going to the next button. Same code. It's very quick. Broadcast message. Cool. Message four. Okay. Um, let's move this a little bit closer so you can see. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Okay, um, let's move on to the bananas. bananas. So let's track out for these receive messages. So something will happen if we receive the message. Okay, um, there we go. And now we will change if we receive message one, which is change size by 10, we will change size by 10. Now this one, we will change size, we will, this one, we will change size by five because we are doing message two and change size by five. We're gonna type in the box. You can do just 10, um, change size by 10, but that's okay. I'm just giving the choice. You don't have to do the same thing. You can change the thing. You can change it. It could be different or something. Oh yeah, and don't forget to set it to zero. Set go set back to zero when we start it. And it does it offer the same thing. Uh-oh, what happened here? Did it then? I put it there, it just stays. It doesn't go. I mean, what is that actually, actually happening? Well, there is no problem. Oh, it's a color. Oh, yeah. Mm, ghost. I think I did a mistake. I didn't see that. So change all your answers and do that. Okay, here I go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I accidentally did color. Sorry, um, my mistake. Anyways, if you have corrected, please pause the video. I will give you some time and then we will continue on our project. Did you pause the video and do it? Okay, um, so let's go ahead and continue. So I hope you had enough time to pause the video. If you didn't, I will give you more time. Okay, I think that was enough time for changing your answers or pausing the video. So let's go ahead and move on. So we have bananas, save your project. So this one, button five, button three, button two. Ooh, so this is button one. And now we are going to do button two, and maybe button three. So let's go back to our bananas and change the size by these two. Let's get the size and change the size by negative 10 instead of instead of 10, just 10. Now we'll change size by negative five instead of just five. So let's see what happens. Ooh. Ooh, it's changing the size. Ooh. Uh-oh. It's changing size by negative 10. Maybe. That is what's going on. Ooh, what is happening? Well, that is so weird. It's changing less the size. I don't know what's happening, but maybe you can figure out the bug that's going on. I am not sure what is happening. Oh my. Oh my. This 10 thing is not working, so I don't know what is the problem. And this thing is not even working. Ooh, dee, 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 dee. Everything is going on. The whole thing is going on. Boom, boom, boom. Like, I found a little glitch. If you click it so many times, you just go to it. Like, about one, two, three. Like about one, two times. One, two. And it just goes there. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. 
Okay, um, anyways, I think this is not working, but I hope it works for you. Um, I'm very sorry, I don't know what's going on. But anyways, I hope you still learn how to make a change size thing project, a size changer. And so yeah, um, that's the whole video. I hope you enjoyed this simple scratch tutorial on Learn Scratch. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will all see you next time. Bye guys. Oh, and don't forget to see this video over here. I mean, over, over here or something here. And don't forget to see the video over here. Don't forget to see the video over here and here. And don't forget to see this playlist. This is cool, right? Okay, anyways, um, yeah, bye guys. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video with your friends and stuff and blah, blah, blah. And also don't forget to hit the notification bell so you won't miss out on any of my awesome, amazing scratch videos. And also don't forget to follow me if you want, if you want to like these videos and if you are waiting on, um, are very excited to see more of them then i will keep making try to keep making more of these videos and try to keep thinking and making them and this will be so fun guys have a very nice rest of your fall and i will see you next time bye guys